Hey guys, got another quick little Project RSX video here for you guys today. So, today we're going to be showing you how to bleed your clutch. So, all you're going to need is some dot three or dot four brake fluid. You're going to need a 10 mil uh, wrench or ratchet. I'm going to be using a ratchet, which is underneath. So, first, this is a K20A2 motor. Uh, first, you're going to need to locate your clutch bleeder, which is in this case right underneath there. I'll show you a better view from the bottom, but it's right underneath the throttle body. And uh, you can see the clutch lines going into it. And then to the left of that is the bleeder. So, first off, you want to do open up your clutch open up your uh, clutch fluid and top it up all the way and we're gonna start bleeding this is gonna work best if you have two people one guy in the car and, and you could go underneath and bleed it so now my car jacked up and you're gonna see my flywheel right there and if you look straight up you will see a clutch bleeder right over there, the very top. So I'm gonna crack that and then my buddy in the car is gonna push it. So we're gonna push out all the old fluid first. So I already did some of that already. You see it's nice and black. It's supposed to be nice and clear. And then we're gonna start trying getting out the air. So to get out the air, you're just gonna close up the valve or close up the bleeder have your guy in the car pump it up a couple times and then you're gonna crack it open and I'm letting him push the clutch all the way down once he does that you're gonna see all the fluid spit out and then you're gonna close up the bleeder and then repeat the process until you get all your old fluid out or until your pedal feels nice and stiff okay so let's uh, crack that bleeder and my partner already pumped it up, so he's just waiting for me to crack it, and then we'll push out the old fluid. Okay, so it's kind of hard doing it with two hands, but let's get my wrench up there, and then we're going to crack it. light on there so you can see okay your hold is it uh is it out okay yeah. um, I'm gonna tell you when to uh, pump it I mean to push it okay so I'm gonna crack the bleeder Just loosen it up about quarter turn or half turn Okay, push it. Okay. Alright, leave it, leave it depressed. And I'm just gonna close it up. nice and snug and then just let them pump it up again okay pump it up so just keep repeating this process and then that's pretty much it you'll get a nice and stiff pedal and then you can go on from there just remember to keep your fluid topped up while you're doing this Okay, so after you do that about like, say three, five times, then just top up your fluid up to the maximum level and you are good to go. Just make sure you tighten up the bleeder screw and your fluid should look pretty clean. For me, I could go a little bit more because there's more at the bottom where I could suck it out. But for me, it's pretty good so far. 
it was way better than before going from that to to this kind of fluid is I'd say a pretty good improvement and that's pretty much it so that is a quick little video on how to bleed your Acura RSX clutch which is located right there pretty easy job takes 10 minutes if you have a friend do it all right peace see you guys in my next video